Okay, we've got a lot of ground to cover here. It's not my plan to make a full video about each and every day, but Narita is our first Japanese city, and so some things that are going to be common everywhere we saw first here in Narita. So I'm going to race through our first full day in Japan and condense the literal four hours of footage I have into anything even sort of watchable. But I'm getting ahead of myself. When we last left our heroes, they were still in Canada. Okay, honestly, this part is pretty boring. We packed up our bags, we rode a shuttle with a cookie on the side of it, into the airport, and uh, we dodged basically all the traffic on the highway. Checked our bags, went through Pearson. You guys know Pearson. And uh, yeah, all in all, the whole process was silky smooth. Uh, we had a security check-in that was booked ahead of time, because that's a thing they do now. And that gave us plenty of time to sit at the gates and just uh, work on stuff and, you know, stress about the plane. All in all, the flight was long, but uneventful. And then we were in Japan. When we got off the plane, we spent almost two hours in a big customs line, which I wasn't allowed to film, and it wasn't very interesting anyway. And then we had a few errands to run before we left the station, like picking up our phone card, picking up our train tickets, and uh, buying our transit pass, and uh, then we were on our way. We took a quick 10 minute or so train from the airport that is called Narita, Tokyo's international airport, into the city that is called Narita. And dead. The way that jet lag worked out was different than I'd experienced in the past. Unlike other trips, where you end up a little bit tired at the wrong times, in this case, we kind of just went to bed at 8, and that seemed fine. And then we woke up at 10. And then we went back to sleep, and we woke up at midnight. And at some point, it ended up being 5.30 in the morning, and we were like, screw it, let's just go to the nearby temple and see it at dawn. So we set out in the morning and walked to find the nearest temple. There were very few people out at this time of day, and so it ended up being this very peaceful trip through a park and up some narrow streets, and, uh, and then obviously we encountered a temple at the end of it. Our trip didn't actually coincide with the main cherry blossom viewing time, um, which is fine, we never intended it to, and so as a result these trees here aren't as full as they would be in full bloom, but on the other hand it's actually kind of beautiful to have all the cherry blossom petals kind of drifted all over the ground and raining down on you, it's actually really nice. It's also weird to just see bamboo growing on the side of the road. So you're walking around and then just like, oh, hello, hello, temple. What are you doing over there? And it turns out that's not even like the main one. There's way better buildings later on. The first thing we had to do was purify ourselves before visiting the temple. I actually got this backwards. It's left before right, but uh, hopefully the gods will forgive me and I'll try to do better next time. Also, that water's not supposed to go back in the basin, but, you know, we, we tried. They had a lot of really neat statues on the way up the stairs here, and I could, didn't have time to film them all. And then we arrived up at the main part of the temple, the main building. Then a separate purification ritual, this time uh, incense covering your body in it. We were there early enough that they were doing a service and it sounded kind of like this. But we're not actually allowed to film in there. Uh, in fact, we're not allowed to film in any of the temples. Uh, just trust me, they seemed pretty cool. Honestly, you can probably just find someone else's video who did it. Uh, maybe they even got permission to. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, behind the temple is a gorgeous garden that we walked through for quite a while. There were tons of monuments and pretty trees and nice scenes uh, that are honestly probably a lot more interesting to experience than they are to watch on a video. So we're going to cut through it pretty heavily. Are you allowed to pet the cat? You're not allowed to feed the cat, but nope. Not our cat. The temple also has kitties.
By this point in the morning, the sun had started evaporating the water and making this kind of fog that was rolling in over everything, and it was even more serene. The place was getting set up for some kind of festival that was happening later, but remember, this is early morning, so there was just around here. On the way back from the temple, we walked through a kind of a market street, uh, but it wasn't open at this time. It was kind of eerie walking through a bunch of things where you could tell that people were supposed to be, but they weren't. By now, Steph was pretty chilly, so we went to this vending machine and got hot tea directly out of the vending machine as a hot sugary tea. And so from there, we headed back to the hotel. So now we're back at the hotel, and it's 7.30 in the morning. We still have a lot of day ahead of us, so maybe we should bring that faster-paced music back in. Let's start with the room. My back is to the door here, and it is a very tiny room, as you can probably see. But look at how deep this tiny shower tub is. <laughs> and this is cool, the room lights only come on while your room key's in here, so you can't leave the lights on while you're out. Speaking of out, we headed back to that market street now that it was open. Along the way, we found this little flea market. On the market street, one of the first places we visited was this goodies shop. And another. Oh, these look pretty good. Back on the street, we saw these things, which we thought would be squishy, but are actually kind of like crackers. There was a bunch of neat little shops here, which I'm not going to show much of, but, you know, they were cool. Narita is known for its barbecue eels, so we just had to find a barbecue eel restaurant to have lunch at. A number of Japanese restaurants have these fake versions of the foods out front so you can see what you're doing. We picked this place, but we didn't film it. I did take a picture, though. This was a cod sashimi, and this was a barbecue eel on rice with an eel liver soup. And then back out on the street, we saw some people with dark matcha ice cream, and we decided to get some for ourselves. We walked through the temple from before, and it was much less serene than it used to be. We did see some turtles, though. And we did happen to be in the right place at the right time. From here, Steph wanted to go to a store called Don Quixote, so we walked out of the side of the temple. Along the way, we found a team doing baseball practice. I'm compressing a lot of time here, but here's the place that we're headed. This place is overwhelming and honestly a little nuts. Let's just cut to some of the audio. Never a quiet moment at Don Quixote. Anyway, we bought some stuff. From there we wanted to have a little picnic, so we found this pretty place to walk along the river. Remember this one from earlier? So the inside is filled with actually red bean paste, and that leaf wrapped around the outside is actually a pickled sakura leaf, a uh, cherry blossom leaf, and so it's actually more sour than sweet, which, uh, you know, wasn't exactly what we were expecting. This one was kind of a jelly stick, but it was also red bean paste, and it also had little bits of, like, chestnut or something in it. And then this third one was like a little puffed cookie thing. Guess what was in it? But also red bean paste. 
So from here we continue to walk home along the river and honestly we were pretty tired and then we also had to walk along the highway and then also there was a thrift store. So that was our first full day in Japan. Honestly, this video is pretty long, and as I'm recording this, we've already been in Tokyo for three days. But I can also feel that while we've done a lot, most of it will probably be featured only briefly in a video. So all in all, I think the next video will be shorter and cover a longer period of time, which is great. Y'all have only got so much patience, and I only have so much time. Okay, one more thing. Check out how long the toilet paper is here. What? That threw me off in the dark. It's just, look at it. 